Hey St. Columbus, today is Veterans Day. For some of you, this day is personally significant. To those veterans in our community, I'm praying that you find ways to affirm and celebrate the best parts of your military service this day. Having never served in the military myself, I find that I have a complicated relationship with the institution for pretty obvious reasons. That doesn't take away from the fact that I am in awe and amazed when someone pursues a higher ideal, a greater good, especially when it comes at great personal sacrifice and at great cost. It's one of the things I admire most about the human race. So many of us are willing to make sacrifices today in the hope that tomorrow will be a better day. If Americans could agree on anything these days, which I'm not entirely sure is possible, but if they could, I bet they would all agree that they hope tomorrow is a better day, better for themselves, for their communities, and for our nation. This Veterans Day, I'm turning my attention to this, this common hope and the ideal of service that so many brave individuals pursue in earnest. All of us, civilians and servicemen and women alike are called to rise above our own interests. We're being called to rise above our own interests even this day, even now. Together we can work towards creating a more just, hopeful and peaceful world. Today, we're being afforded an opportunity to pause and reflect on what it means to serve and to consider our own personal sense of service and sacrifice. My prayer is that when we pause and ask these kind of questions, we recognize within ourselves a commitment to our fellow humans, a love for creation, and a deep desire for God our highest ideal and the greatest good of all, now and forever, amen.